If you're feeling strapped for cash, you might be counting the days until you can tap into your Social Security. Fox Toledo's Christy Leah, licensed stockbroker, breaks down the pros and cons of doing that in this week's Market Minute. Jeff from Rossford wants to know when he should start taking his Social Security benefits. Two choices. The earliest you can get retirement Social Security benefits is at 62, if you make below 14 grand. Another option is to wait until full retirement age, and that depends on when you were born. Take a look at this chart. It assumes your full retirement age is 67. If you start taking Social Security benefits at 62, let's say you'd get 1,700 bucks a month, the green line. If you wait until full retirement age, you'll get 2,500 a month, the purple line. But holding out for the higher amount will mean you will lose out on five years of payouts, not to mention investment options with that money. And if you wait, it will take 11 years. You'd be 78 before you see that extra money. So in most cases, it makes sense to go ahead and start taking early if you're no longer working. If you are working, it may make sense to, d to delay it. But here's the kicker. By the time you retire, Social Security may not be around. For your dollars and cents, Market Minute, I'm Christy Lee. Remember, always check with your personal financial advisor before making any financial decisions.